sitting here. I'm, think, I'm thinking about soccer and I start sweating. That's how excited I get. Passionate. <laughs> Passion. A middle school in Newark, Newark, New Jersey just got a grant from ReachUp. They have an existing after school program. What's your ideal thing like? Bam, we gave you X amount of dollars. Here's what I what our ideal thing is for you guys to create. Well, it's not about one thing. I think that's important. I think it's really important for young girls and young boys alike, but specifically young girls, to try a, um, as many activities as possible, whether it's jumping rope, uh, whether it's uh, playing soccer, basketball, uh, softball, baseball, throwing a football, uh, I think it's you know tag, you know things that are team oriented, things that are um, as individuals, you know all of those things. I tell people all the time, you know, I learned how to head a ball and clear a ball heading because I played center field in baseball. So when the ball was hit, I knew I had to take two steps back, see the ball, time it right catch it and throw it all in one motion and that's kind of like heading you know when you see a player take their their foot back to kick it you know okay it's coming long so take a few steps back they kick it and you can be aggressive you go to it you head it you know going forward so what I would tell the school is let's get as many activities as we can on the grass or on the playground and involve as many uh, players as possible um, Everybody has to have at some point a leadership role. So they're gonna stand before the group. They're gonna have their voice heard. Uh, they're gonna pick teams or they're going to give the rules or they're gonna make up a game and then they play. And it's not about winning or losing. It's about participation and it's about challenging yourself personally. And then we go from there. Nice, that's some great philosophy <laughs> right there. How do we get involved? How go to Brandy's World. Uh, and you'll see a button on there, click on it, and you're going to be hooked. That will be it. You'll be hooked forever. And, it is cool. You know, the good things we can do together. If you were to go to Tahoe, where would you, <laughs> where would you like go skiing or you ski or snowboard? You know what? I, I did when I was younger. Well, I went skiing once when I was in sixth grade, and then soccer took over my life. And then um, I said, you know what? I want to try this again. So my husband and I went out and got snowboarding lessons, and I fell in love with it. But then soccer took over again. And I love the snow, and I like—I think I like snowboarding because my feet are together. Whereas in skiing, I could have one foot over there and one foot over there, and that would be a disaster. But I love Lake Tahoe because my, I have grandparents that, and family that live not far away, so we go to the lake during the summer, nice. and we freeze so our beautiful. tails off in the lake, and, yeah. but we love it every summer. And uh, but I—I I think you know—I think the closest place is um, is heavenly to where they live. So, yeah. but. South Lake? Yeah. Bigger